0.75 ohm resistor. Well, I L squared R. Because it's a series, we can use that same current. So it's 18.95 milliampers squared times 18.75 ohms, 673.3 milliwatts. Okay, now it's asked to find, so that's basically eight, power to the 18.75 plus the power to the load is equal to our total power. So, power to the, excuse me, total power is 3.591 watts plus the 673 milliwatts, 4.264 watts. What is our efficiency? Our efficiency, again, using RL is our power out power out over power in is equal to our efficiency. So power out, power delivered to our load, 3.591 watts. Power in, power to everything, means that one is 4.264 watts. So what is our, our efficiency? 3.591 divided by 4.264 and gives us an efficiency of 84.2 percent. There's a number of different ways to solve for this. You know, I don't have to call it solve for the individual for 18.75. I could do basically power total is equal to the voltage total times the current total. In this case it's 22.5 and again it was uh, 189.5 milliampers, and that should be equal to 22.5 times 189.5 milliampers. Oh my gosh, it's equal to 4.264 watts. Okay, so there's a number of different ways you can solve for total power. But again, the power delivered is the power to load. Okay, so we just completed section 9.3. You guys should feel comfortable. Go ahead and walk through that and do some of the example problems in the book and some of the practice problems in the book. Very important that you do not confuse superposition theorem with Thevenin's theorem. Superposition theorem is just a means to the end. Thevenin's theorem is the end. All right, so you guys should be able to knock out the problems in 9.3 and do some of the homework problems in the back of the book. And then we're going to move on to a very closely related topic, the maximum power transfer theorem.